Leases detail the rights of the parties, but sometimes limit the opportunity to pursue civil claims. Tenants sue their landlord for lying about a stench and come up smelling like roses in Italian Cowboy Partners versus Prudential Insurance Company. Hudson's Grill leased commercial space from Prudential Insurance Company. During Hudson's lease, a sewage smell plagued the space. Property manager Fran Powell experienced the odor and called it ungodly and gag-inducing. Hudson's vacated the space. Restaurateurs Francesco and Jane Seiki operated Italian Cowboy. The Seikis negotiated with Prudential through Powell to lease the space. Powell told the Seikis that the building was almost new, without problems, and the previous tenant didn't experience any problems. The lease included a standard merger clause and a clause that stated no representations were made beyond the lease. Under the lease, Italian Cowboy was responsible for certain repairs, but Prudential needed to maintain sewer lines and had authority over structural alterations. The odor re-emerged and then worsened when cleaners unclogged a pipe for the grease trap. The city temporarily closed the restaurant following a report to the health department. The Seikis and Prudential unsuccessfully tried to address the problem. The Seikis stopped paying rent and closed Italian Cowboy when they learned Powell withheld information about Hudson's problems. A subsequent tenant learned the improperly installed grease trap and piping caused a sewage backup. New piping and relocating the kitchen resolved the issue. Italian Cowboy sued its landlord and property manager for rescission and brought tort and contract claims, including fraudulent inducement and breach of the implied warranty of suitability. Prudential counterclaimed for breach of contract. At trial, the court found for Italian Cowboy, rescinded the lease, and awarded damages. The appeals court reversed. Italian Cowboy petitioned the Texas Supreme Court.